is where concentration meditation comes that's an important point even if we cannot sit and self analyze or do anything all other rituals or whatever it is let meditation become a part of our life at least that because that will slowly set right everything all our problems are due to the unruly mind and concentration helps us in slowly getting control over that mind little by little little by little little by little we gain mastery over the mind and one day you'll be surprised how obedient your mind is and you will notice that everything that you have been running after will begin to run after you Did the Bible say clearly seek ye the kingdom of God everything else will be added unto instead of running after things one by one one by one run after that one which when gotten will make everything run after you the hindu scriptures also have said the same know that by knowing which you would have known everything else what is that the realization of the truth how is that possible by a well disciplined mind there is no shortcut and how can you discipline the mind you certainly work with body too because you cannot discipline the mind while totally ignoring the body they go together because remember that body and mind are not two different things they are one and the same in different expression different levels of expression mind came together and became solid is body body expanded becomes mind subtle body and physical body stola sharira sukshma sharira they call it they are one and the same like ice and water and the causal body is like steam much still more expanded that is the reason if you want to do anything with the mind it's easy to begin with the body it's very scientific people with technical mind will know what it is i can explain this in a simple analogy the motor car which we all know we all use we all know how the motor car begins to move from a stand still position how it begins to move where the movement starts the minute we start the key
the spark plug ignites the gas and the first visible movement is in the piston the piston is kicked down by the compression stroke i mean the the ignition and then from the piston it is transferred to the connecting rod then the shaft crank shaft and to the running shaft and then to the axle if it is a front wheel drive front axle or the back axle otherwise and then from the axle to the wheel so it begins at the piston and slowly goes it's not slowly almost simultaneously but that is where it begins and the major expression of the movement is at the wheel and because of the wheel moving the entire car moves so if that is clearly understood that it is because of the piston movement ultimately the car moves now we we want to stop the car a moving car where do we apply the brake where the movement started can anybody tell me from the audience hmm at the wheel why shouldn't the movement start at the piston why not we apply the brake at the piston if you apply the brake at the piston you should need a gunny bag to take the pieces of the engine <laughs> see how how scientific it is it started at the piston slowly develops until the wheel moves and when we want to stop the car we are applying the brake at the wheel where the movement is magnified there it is more gross not at the beginning where it is very subtle in the same way this body which is a motor car moves not because the leg wants to move no but because of the piston inside something fires in you <laughs> sort of ignition <laughs> what fires i want to eat <laughs> a desire fires you see a desire in the mind i must go and have a nice sumptuous meal immediately the thought sends message to the brain and then the motor nerves you call it motor nerves eh? the they say hey legs walk towards the kitchen <laughs> hmm? and of course the entire body should coordinate immediately so the message goes all over the body and the leg begins to walk see a thought causes the movement of the body now if we want to stop the movement of the mind the thought where would you apply the brake body you simply apply the brake to the leg leg don't walk to the is the kitchen now don't go the thought will roar but the brakes are applied to the leg you are adamant no i am not going to budge an inch i am not going to open the refrigerator anymore <laughs> see 
you are applying brake at a very physical place very gross area to control the mind and that is where the yoga comes the beauty of yoga is that it's not that in other practices these things are not said they are but not explicitly in an indirect way they have said but in yoga it's all crystal clear yama niyama asana pranayama pratyahara dharana dhyana samadhi step by step do some asana discipline your body make the body still let your legs obey you let your hip obey you and then next let your senses obey you your tongue should not salivate put certain discipline on the eyes on the ears and of course you work with the mind also tell the mind would you tell the mind mind listen you are not going to eat anything now you had it enough hmm? you don't want any more ice cream or hmm? not now if the mind no 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 i really want it huh <laughs> 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 yeah <laughs> don't you see my sister just brought a hagen dosh <laughs> <laughs> Huh? It's all made of honey. Huh? The mind will argue. Well, if you don't listen, I'm not going to move. The mind will cry and unruly. No, nothing doing. I'm not going. To. See how the mind could be controlled by the physical non-cooperation. it doesn't mean that you should not train the mind train it tell the mind also this is the reason why we are not moving <laughs> that's where i call this integral yoga yeah, don't think that i am putting a plug or anything like that huh? whatever you do do it is a holistic approach a complete approach